Hello, in this video we're gonna sync the animations for shooting, reloading and switching weapon and also we're gonna do some small improvements. So let's start with the jump animation. So right now we're using a boolean to do jumping. So I wanna do a trigger instead. I'm going to rename this to something else. So I'm going to create a trigger, name it jump. So in order to do that, let's go to the transition to jump start. And as you can see, we're going to use this boolean. We're going to change this to a trigger. So we can go ahead and delete that. Also now let's go to the code and make the adjustment in the script as well. Let's find the jump function. Here it is. So instead of set boolean, I'm going to use set trigger. And we don't need that anymore. So let's go to the jump server or PC set trigger so that's it and also in the jump client or pc we're gonna set trigger so this function is being called from the third person controller so let's go and find a function called jump and gravity so over there right here when we are checking for the input and we are calling the character dot jump i'm also going to reset the jump timeout over there as well so i'm gonna say jump timeout delta equals to jump timeout then i'm gonna call the function now also let's go back to the character and the initialize there is also in a small problem i want to fix here so here when the item type is a weapon i need to do something similar like this in the ammo i need to say w dot ammo equals to item data dot value so now let's go to the equip weapon script right over here so we need to sync this with other clients as well so i'm going to create a function call it equip weapon server rpc and we're going to pass the network id of the weapon so here when we call equip weapon if we are the owner, then we're gonna call equip weapon server RPC and we're gonna pass weapon.network ID. So back to the server RPC. Let's also create a client RPC. So that's another function for client RPC and another function for equip weapon, just let's name it sync. When on the owner, we call equip weapon server RPC. This is going to be executed on server. So first we're gonna call equip weapon sync, which is this one. Then we're gonna call this function on all other clients, which results here. And if our client is not the owner, we are going to call equip weapon sync. So all roads is gonna end up here in the equip weapon sync. And here we're gonna define a weapon and then we are going to loop in the items to find that weapon so we're gonna check if item i is not null and the network id of that item equals this network id and that item is actually a weapon then we're gonna set the value of that weapon and we're gonna break from the loop and here i am going to check to see if the weapon is not null then i'm gonna call equip weapon and i'm gonna pass the weapon otherwise if there is no weapon then we have a big problem so that's something we can handle later that's probably never gonna happen but just in case so let's go ahead and do exactly the same thing for holster weapon i'm going to find the holster weapon function here it is so first let's start with the holster weapon sync which is the last function we're gonna pass a weapon id if our weapon is not null and it is the same weapon ID, then we're gonna just call the holster weapon. So now let's create the client RPC. Holster weapon client RPC is just gonna call the holster weapon sync if it is not the owner. And then we are going to create holster weapon server RPC. So it is going to call the holster weapon sync and call the holster weapon client RPC at the same time. So we go to the holster weapon right here and inside this function when we are checking for the weapon we are going to check if we are the owner then we're going to call holster weapon server rpc well actually while we are on the subject of the holster weapon let's go and create an input to holster the weapon we have in the inputs 
let's duplicate the jump input and I'm going to name it holster weapon so let's choose a key I'm going to use keyboard and I'm going to choose let's say T key on my keyboard so let's save that and close this go to the inputs script so here let's create a boolean call it holster weapon so just the same way we've created the other inputs let's go and create the necessary functions so again the name here should match the input you chose here so this is holster weapon so the function is going to be on holster weapon and let's also create a holster weapon input so let's just copy one of these it is going to be holster weapon input so that is the state and this is going to be holster weapon so that's for our input now in the third person controller in the update function let's say somewhere around here i am going to say if our input dot holster weapon is pressed and if our character is not reloading and if our character is not switching weapon then call the character holster weapon and also set the input holster weapon to false actually let's bring those conditions here so instead of doing all three conditions together i'm gonna do those two conditions here and that condition right over there so regardless of if we are reloading or switching weapon if that key is pressed we're gonna set it to false anyway and let's actually check the other inputs for the same thing so yep here in the reload let's do that as well so let's copy that function and i am going to call character reload inside this so that's for the reloading condition that's for the input condition and here let's also add another condition if character is not switching weapon so that's it for our input let's go back to our character and start syncing other functions let's go for the reload so for the reload we need to do the same thing let's start by the reload sync function so we're gonna create that well it doesn't need to be public let's do it private so we're gonna check to see if our weapon is not null and if our ammo is not null then we're gonna check the id of the weapon and ammo with the ids that being passed and then if everything checks out we're gonna reload now for the client rpc we are going to check if we're not owner we're gonna call the reload sync and for the server rpc we are going to call the reload sync and reload client rpc and obviously here in the reload we are going to call reload server rpc before we actually do the reloading now finally let's go and take care of the shooting so right now shooting is happening in the third person controller in the update function so right here when we are pressing the shoot input so let's actually bring everything to the character so i'm going to go to the character and let's create a function for the shooting somewhere around here i'm going to call it shoot and it is going to return a boolean which at the end we're going to return false now we go to the third person controller and let's copy that bring it here and let's go back and clear all those conditions so let's remove them except the input.shoot and instead of all of this i'm just gonna call character.shoot so now back to the character here we don't need the shoot input we are going to use if weapon is not null instead of armed so they're the same thing here if not reloading if we are aiming if the weapon shoot happens and for the character we're gonna pass this and for the target we're going to pass aim target so let's change this to weapon and the same thing here so that's it for our shooting function 
I'm going to create a list of strings. I'm going to call it shots. So that's just for a safety check. I'm going to create the shoot sync. It is going to take a weapon ID. And if the weapon is not null and weapon network ID equals to this weapon ID, then we're going to do our shooting. Otherwise, well, there's a problem. We create a Boolean called shoot and we call the shoot function here. If the shot happens, then okay, everything's fine. If the shot didn't happen, we're going to add that weapon ID to the shots. So before we continue, let's actually handle this shots list in the update function. Let's go up there. Here it is, update function. I am going to do it here. So I'm going to say if the shots count is greater than zero, and if we are not the owner, we're going to check to see if the weapon is not null, and then we're going to check the shots index zero, the first item in the shots. It should be equal to the weapon network ID. If it is, then we're going to call the shoot function again. And if the shoot actually happens, we're going to remove the first index of the shots. And if that condition was not true, then we are still going to remove the shot. So back to the shoot script right over here. We have the shoot sync. So we are going to create shoot client RPC. And then basically we're just going to call shoot sync if we're not the owner. And then shoot server RPC here. We're going to call the shoot sync and shoot client RPC. And finally, in the shoot function right over here, before we apply the kick, we are going to check if we are the owner, then we're going to call shoot server RPC using our current weapon network ID. And then right under this, we're going to return true. So that should be it for the shooting. And uh, here in the free fall, let's remove that. We are no longer are setting the jump boolean. So let's go to the Unity and get a build for our project. And uh, here it is. So here is our build. I'm going to start that. And let's also start the editor. So I'm going to use the editor as the server. And here it is our client. So let's start another client. Now, if I start this as well, we have two clients. Okay, if I reload, yep, it is reloading on both clients. If I change my weapon, it is changing on both of them. If I shoot, it is shooting on both of them. So yeah, everything looks good, actually, yep. Let's also jump. Yep, jumping works fine. Everything's looking great. So in the next video, I'm probably gonna handle the inventory management and dropping item on the ground and stuff like that. So this video is finished. I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.